Hi guys, Cindy here with Treeline Studios. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a much anticipated unboxing. Um, this is from, if you recognize the symbol, DIY Moon Shop, or I know some people call them Dye Moon Shop, based in the Philippines. So I ordered this, uh, let's see, I ordered it August 24th. Um, so this uh, seller, they um, make the paintings by order and they are a small, um, kind of like a mom and pop shop in the Philippines. So, you know, when you do order from them, it does take a little bit. But I mean, from what I've seen from other people's unboxings, it's well worth the wait. Um, really unique artwork. Um, looks like high quality um, kits. So I'm super stoked to get this. But anyway, so I ordered it eight, uh, August 24th. Um, Another thing with uh the uh owner the owners of this shop I want to say it's uh Roanna and Reggie but Roanna um does these like kind of cool unboxing videos that you know kind of makes it even more exciting so I already saw my package unboxed um late last week when she posted it um but it is shipped pretty or once it's shipped it does get you pretty fast so I want to say it's shipped maybe like officially Thursday or Friday and I got it today and today's Monday so super stoked. All right, so without further ado, let me get into this. So their shipping price is a little more on the pricey side, but I don't mind paying it because it does come pretty fast. And also she does a really good job with like protecting and packaging it. So again, from what I've seen, there's like multiple layers going into this. So I'm not worried that this is going to or have been damaged in shipping just because she does a great job with it, which I don't mind paying a little bit more if it's, you know, for those reasons. Okay. But I actually ordered two paintings from them. And since then, I've ordered another one, another one of their new releases. I want to say like last week or something like that. So, I mean, I have plenty to work on <laughs> while that one's being, uh, whatever, on, added to the line and everything. Um, but so yeah, like I said, so they do make the kits to order. So it's not like your typical um, factory in China where they kind of make everything and it sits around. So like I said, it does take a little while, but it's well worth it. So let's see here. Let me get into it here. So I know there's like multiple layers here going on. So the one, I mean, well, both of them I'm excited about. Um, they're both rounds and... They're both special in their own way. The smaller of these two paintings, um, I know I'm probably going to work on that next after I finish my uh, dawn, which is, I want to say, like maybe a third done. So once that's done, uh, the smaller of these two paintings is going to be what I'm going to kit up next. Excuse me. All right, so... So like I said, super organized and well packaged. So a lot goes into it. So yep, nothing really smushed or anything or any issues with it that I can see. But look at how neat that is. <laughs> so if you're like OCD or whatever, like this is like, this is so neatly packaged. Okay, so I got a little free uh, pin for being a first time customer. And let's see here. All right, really pretty. So this is their toolkit. Um, let's see here. Is this the only, looks like it, yep, so you can put it into one. But look at this kind of, even this pretty like AB looking shimmery uh, bag. It's pretty neat. Okay, so several of these pink pens and looks like uh, just a bunch of, what is this? Is this a seven placer? Probably a seven placer. Yes, seven placer. And then the single. I mean, I'm not going to use those most likely because I have my nicer pens. And then a boatload of trays. So four green trays and then a couple or four plates of the pink wax. And then a standard tweezer. Okay. So I'll add that to my collection there. All right. So let's see here. So, my original order um, was a candy painting that I saw on my Instagram, um, Diamond Junkie. 
she was doing uh, this particular one, so I ordered it, that. And then later on, I saw the other one, which I added to my order, which they're pretty good about um, that. They just kind of adjusted the shipping for me and then just added to my order, and they both came together. All right, here's another kit. Looks like some cute stickers. Or excuse me, did I say kit? <laughs> another gift. So some cute stickers. <laughs> That's funny. It's a sticker of a scrunchie. That's hilarious. This is cool. A little, like... Moon Man riding a like unicorn. Uh, what are those toys called? Those little rockers for kids. Really funny. So yeah, I have to add some of these cute ones to my uh my little um surface here, my cutting mat surface. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at let's look at the big one first, I guess. So this is my original order. So this one is Meraki by DJ Paest. I might be saying that wrong, but it is a candy um, kit, meaning it's all these shimmery gems. So really cool. So that's going to be super duper sparkly. Um, and it's a 88 by 40 centimeter. And looks like there are 42 colors. But really, really cool. So that's going to be super pretty. Um, for those of you who have not really done diamond painting yet and are really into like bling, which I'm also into, um, like blinging things, like this is my half-finished Mickey head cup, um, you would probably like these. So these, um, they call it candy, which is just uh, like these kind of clear uh, resin drills that look like um, rhinestones. So really cool. So I kind of don't want to unorganize this, but maybe let me just open it and take a look at one of the baggies to see what it looks like but this is really cool so i just don't want to make a huge mess <laughs> so, okay 42 so pretty really neat can't wait to get started on this one but yeah this one will be really cool all right so all in individual uh, Ziploc baggies, which is great. So if you are not the type to kind of kit it up, you can just work out the baggies. And um, there is the, uh, what is they call it? They call it the walking legend, I want to say, is what I've seen on other videos. So where the legend is just on this strip here, um, not on the actual canvas itself, which is not a big deal. Um, I don't know if it's a sticker. It might not be. I feel like I've seen somewhere that it's like a canvas. So you could just cut it up and stick it in your or stick it in your sticker maker and cut it up and put it on your um your little containers or the baggies if you want. Okay, so let's look at the canvas. So the canvas is protected too. Just find my little cutter here. So yeah, I never know what to call them. I mean, I almost want to ask them, like, do you pronounce the shop Die Moon or DIY Moon? It's spelled D-I-Y-M-O-O-N. Um, so, or maybe they go by both. <laughs> but yes, this one is a huge canvas. Um, you're not going to be able to see it, the whole thing. But let's see here. See, we go from the top here. So this image, it's been a while. I forgot what it looked like, but um, this artist, the uh, DJ Paest, like he has like really unique art that um, for what I saw on like his website or whatnot, like months ago when I researched him was like, um, I think he's like, he even does like, uh, like murals in the Philippines, I want to say. It's really unique. So... But yeah, I think I remember seeing um, on Instagram, um, Diamond Junkie did finish this kit. So if you want to see what this looks like completed, head over to her um, Instagram. But really neat. It's like two ladies. And then I want to say this is like a microphone or something. Um, and then just these like kind of cool design elements. But really, really, really cool. Really cool. And so let's zoom in on the symbols here. 
Oops, if I could hit the right button. Okay, super zoom. Okay. So yeah, symbol clarity looks really nice. Um, there's no dummy circles, which is nice. Yeah, it looks really clear. And they're um they do use pore glue as well, so that's why there's the uh, clear cover sheet. And cool. So, and then their canvas itself does have like the sparkliness of it. I don't know if it's, yeah, actually, yeah, I can see it. The camera's picking up on it a little, little blurry. But I like that little sparkliness of the canvas, just like Diamond Art Club. So that's neat. So, I guess an extra sparkle for whatever, especially if you're doing a rounds kit. Um, whatever canvas is peeking through. You might see a little bit of that sparkle. But yeah, really cool. Um, just for, let's see, just for completion's sake, I'm gonna measure and make sure it's true to size. But I'm pretty certain it is. So, let's see here. Good. So, very close. Um, I'm getting 87, but it's like slightly, no, you know what, here it is, yeah, because it wasn't, it's so big that um, it's like a little folded. So, yep, so 88 centimeters across, which is what it's listed as, and then, yep, 40, yep, so true to size like I expected, so yeah, really cool. Okay, I'm zoomed down and everything, okay, so that's the first one, so I will get to that eventually. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that. I sound like a broken record. I'll get to it eventually. Oh, actually a little bit um talks about that one too. So back to that one. It was a little on the pricey side. Um, They do make it to order. I think there are smaller sizes. I remember this one. I think I did get the biggest size. Um, so I didn't want to lose that detail. So this one was actually the most pricey uh, diamond painting I've ever bought. It was actually like $118. Um, but I think there is one more size available, which is a little cheaper. So, but it is huge. And it is all candy diamonds, so those are a little pricier than the regular um, uh, resin, like the little circular uh, opaque ones. So you are getting what you pay for. Okay, so this next one. So this one, I just love this artist's work. So this is Sleeps with Butterflies by Margaret Morales. Um, again, DIY Moonshop, they have a lot of unique artists on there. So I'm sure you can find something, you know, for everyone. Um, but of all the artists, I think her, I've seen the most that stood out to me that I wanted. So actually, I mentioned earlier, I have a recent order I just placed. It's another one of uh, Margaret Morales's work. So, so this one's a slightly smaller one, but this is Sleeps with Butterflies. This is a uh, 40 by 51 centimeter. I don't remember how many more sizes there were bigger. I want to say this is like the second to biggest one. So there's one more bigger size. But there are uh, smaller sizes too. But really, really pretty. So I've seen this completed too and it's just so gorgeous. So this is the one that I'm going to work on next after I finish my Dawn. Really, really nice. So... So another thing about DIY Moonshop is they do offer um, special treatments is what they call it. So this is one of the ones that did have it. And I went full out. I got all special treatments. So the special treatments does have, let's see if I can find it. Yep. So they're right here on this little baggie. Yep. Sleeps with Butterflies special treatment. I got version three. So there's version one, two, and three. So... Um, so version three has all three. So version one, I want to say, is with just this, the electric diamonds, which um, they say to sprinkle in the background. So kind of like in the black areas once this is completed, like the black background. So really pretty. Oh, <laughs> nice. So these I can tell because, I, like I said earlier, I bling things. So these are uh, AB crystals. So, like, my favorite crystals to work with when I'm doing bling, uh, like, cups and bling anything. So, they call that electric diamonds. So, yeah, that's going to really make it sparkle and look really nice. So, version one would be just that, which is in the background. 
Uh, version two, I think, is that the electric diamonds and then the gold. Yes, the gold crystals, which they says it says here to sprinkle on the yellow butterflies. So it'd be like here, here, here's a butterfly, here, here. So that'd be version two. And then version three has one, two, and then the third one, which is Morganite crystals, which uh, is like a pink AB, looks like. And this goes in the pink areas of the flowers. So like here and here and here and here. So these special treatments weren't that pricey. I want to say like all three was like $6. So I'm like, uh, yeah, I want more sparkle. Why not? Um, I haven't ever ordered from them before. I don't know what the other uh, painting special treatments are like. I know um, a more recent one I did, the one, the one I ordered last week. I ordered two paintings and one of them did have special treatments. And it was a lot more pricey. I want to say it was like $48 or something like that, which is like almost the price of a painting. But I was like, you know what? It's a splurge whenever I order from them because it is kind of pricey, but you get what you pay for, which is well worth it. Um, you know, since it is coming from the Philippines, shipping is going to run you a little more than usual. It's, uh, I think for these two paintings, the shipping was around like $30, $30 to $35. So... Um, I justified it myself by saying, well, I'm gonna pay that kind of money and let me get two paintings instead of just paying $30 for one. So but anyway, so I am super duper excited about this one. This one's so pretty. Um, and then, so here's the drills for this one. So this one has 45 colors. And if I didn't say this before, it's a, the one I got was a 40 by 51 centimeter. And... Yeah, I same thing. I really don't want to mess this up because I might just kit it and work it or work it from the baggies. But really, really pretty colors. So some neutrals and pinks and violets and reds and peach and coral. So gorgeous. So... Yes, so hopefully I can finish my Dawn painting and get working on this one because I am very excited about this one. And this one's not as huge as all the other ones I've bought, so this one feels doable. This one actually I think is smaller than my Dawn painting. Yeah, it looks smaller. So hopefully once I get to it, I can finish it really fast. Um, I'm super excited about both. Oh, this one um, this one cost me $64 total, I want to say, and that's um with the, the, the special treatments too. So... Um, thought so far, so I'm not disappointed at all. I mean, I've, I know the DIY Moon Shop or Dye Moon Shop, um, they have good quality uh, kits with really unique um, images that are licensed. So I'm not sure this is what this one will look like. Um, so I have no problem paying more and waiting a little bit longer for an awesome quality, unique kit. So uh feel free to leave a comment below if you have any comments about um this unboxing uh or any questions although i don't know yet since i haven't started it but i will of course as usual post a post review after i finished it um but that's it for me today uh if you like this video feel free to subscribe to my channel too i'm trying to do more unboxings in general um and hope to talk to you or see you next time all right take care bye